So, have you ever just been listening to music and then just <laughs> thought like, damn, this shit is really great. <laughs> and then it started to make you get in your feelings. Well, P Party Next Door just dropped the album and it kind of just did that for a lot of folks. <laughs> <laughs> It did, bro. It, did it didn't do that for me, though. It, I didn't get in my feelings, but okay. I know some people probably did. Okay. Man. So, we here today with a review, man. Party Next Door, long awaited. Party Next Door, number four. Yes, sir. So, I'm your host, Ken. That's your host, Ralph. And we finna mm -hmm. get straight into it. No, 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 mm -hmm. no delay. Cut the bullshit. Oh. <laughs> That's what them niggas be saying. Cut the small talk. <laughs> Cut the small talk. Bro, this album is low key a, um, a sex playlist. Facts. This whole album is sex playlist. I'm going to just keep it real with you. Hold on. Let's go to the track. And that is not to say that in a bad way. That is actually pretty good, bro. This album is great. Party and, um, Next Door is... Look, at, <laughs> look, bro. He really... You can really put this album on from top to bottom. Do your do your thing. First of all, I think the song's only 12, right? Yeah, it's 12 songs. Yeah, man. You can do your thing. Well, it's 14, but one of them is a skit. The Mother's Prayers is a skit, I think. Oh. One of them is a skit, so it's like 13. Bro. This, if with that with that being said, it's a fifty minute album, yeah, right? Yeah. Forty five minute, fifty minute album. That's how long it take to do it anyway. It's great love, love playlist, bro. Love making It's literally that. <laughs> so if you're trying to get it in, bro, go listen to that party next door. Just throw that party next door. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. let's get to the actual review though. Man. Okay, look, let me make this side note, right? Okay, bet. The transition from um, control to lose my mind. Mm hmm. Dope. Crazy. Yeah. Crazy, cause look, when you first heard "Lose Your Mind," "Lose My Mind," you, but you 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 thought it was a good song, yeah. But once you hear the control transition into it, it's like a it's two like pack. a two pack, yeah. Oh, it's bro. like you get two for one. Yep. Okay, so let's get on uh, the production. production. Shout out forty. Shout what? out the entire production team. To be honest, the whole entire production this nigga forty team. was all over that joint. OG yeah. Parker had a goddamn. Yeah. Yeah. Cameo on that bitch. One thing I want to say about it, bro, it was very consistent. Yeah, it's like one vibe for the whole. One, that's album. what I said. It's one vibe. That's why I said the like, whole vibe is the same. Cause like for yeah. example, with a sex playlist, you want the whole vibe to be mm -hmm. the same. You don't want to have no goddamn turn your bitch up. Turn, yeah, none of that shit. None of that shit. It was none of that. It's on that. one vibe, and that's that that old that old school. Yeah. We well, ain't even old school, but it's that trap soul vibe. Yeah, man. That old that 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 old school that what he came out with. I like this one. But although it's very consistent, uh -huh. I wanna say What's that? It does get repetitive after a while. I feel you, bro. Hearing the same kind of beat, the same three doom doom doom, like the same beats mm -hmm. kinda get a little repetitive. But that ain't the But same. that ain't the problem though. Yeah. It don't get repetitive till towards the end of it, honestly. Yeah. Because, like, the first five songs, they don't really sound alike. But once you get to, like, maybe, and this is not to say it's a bad album because it's still a great album. But once you get to once you get to her old friends. Bro, that's one of them ones. Like, well, no, my, my bad. No, because that's what it is. It's two skits. The Retreat is a skit, I think. Mm -hmm. And something in A Mother's Prayer is a skit. One of them is a skit, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, one, like, the first seven is crazy. But once you get to like past her old friends, it started to feel like okay, yeah, let's do something a little different. Yeah, yeah, I feel just you. a little. And I don't feel mean you, it's bad. I, though. I see exactly. What you but yeah, I, I kind of got tired of the same little thing after maybe like the first seven, eight tracks, mm -hmm. bro. Yeah. But it ain't that long of an album. But so I you feel like worry about it I feel like Forty do that shit better. Than Masterfully, anybody. yeah. It's like he mastered that one thing. Yeah. And it's like, damn, that's it. That's it. That's the way. It ain't nothing wrong with. And it. he had more than it was just more than it was more than Noah. Yeah, they, they he, he collab with a lot of producers, and I just don't know all their names, and I don't want to butcher their shit. But he yeah. collab with a lot of producers. Y'all just look up the um the the credits. Okay, but um delivery and the flow of this album, he had so many varieties mm -hmm. when it came to the melodies. In my yeah, opinion. bro, it's like he had like you say you he might have had the same beat or same sound. But he beat. never attacked it the same way. He never attacked yeah. it the same way. It was yeah. all different vibes on that. On like. I feel like I feel the like, melodies was some of his best, bro. I feel like it was smooth. Mm -hmm. Like most of the time he was like uh overlapping his his melodies. Like he'll say some shit and have a run yeah. that goes over the beat. Yeah. And I feel like that makes his shit sound more creative than a lot of people could most of the time they just try to fit in the lane. Yeah. But he kind of went outside the lane and made it like his own thing. No features. No features at all, bro. Great ass album. But it's all about him, bro. Like, this is a good album. I am yeah. not trying to be the one that say it's not great. But, bro, I feel like he should have had some features. Like, who? Maybe not a lot. Not a lot. It's only 14 tracks. Yeah, who? You could have had maybe two. Who you would you want to see him with? No Drake. 
No, nah, that no, nah, no. You could have hopped on that bitch with like. I'm glad Drake was you not. You could have hopped on that hoe with like a scissor, uh-huh. or like a her, yeah, or like a Bryson. You know, like maybe like just a new, like a different voice. Yeah. Because like I said, <laughs> like <laughs> so, <laughs> I feel like, <laughs> like I said, at one point it got to a point where it felt like I was kind of listening to the same song. Yeah. So somebody else could have added something to that and made it a little bit more extra, like extra spicy in it. That's all. I feel like it's still great. He could have had maybe two features on it, like I've, a Bryson and a Scissor or some shit like that. I feel that. I feel that. That's I all. felt um, I felt he had a lot of maturity with his music in this one. Facts. Like he he's matured over the years. Like mm-hmm. he know what he good at, and he and know he how stick to, to it. Yeah, he, he know how to attack it. it. Yeah, yeah, he know how to do it. Very mature music. Oh. Mm-hmm. This nigga had a line about Mobile, Alabama, man. Hey, shout, shout out because that's where we from. We man. from Mobile, we in Alabama. In the bottom man. of the map. You know what I'm how the fuck this nigga even know where we at? Say he found a girl in Mobile. Now, if what y'all, girl did you find no, no, in Mobile? But let's 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 make a disclaimer. If y'all know any place that's not Mobile, Alabama, yeah, and y'all know he talking about, y'all think he talking about something else? Please leave it in the comments. But for Man, right Mobile, now, bro. for right now, I'm going with Mobile. That's Alabama, bro. I'm going with Mobile, it's Alabama, Alabama, baby. It's my. <laughs> it's real. Mobile, man. He ain't talking about nobody else, bro. For real. Okay. So last thing we finna get into favorite songs. Yep, favorite songs. Your top three. Top five. Oh, you want to do top five? Or oh, top three? I got three. I ain't know what we doing. Five. We got, always do three. Well, I got five. Well, nigga tried to switch it. My bad. Um, I got lose my mind. Okay. I got make it to the morning. Okay. I got her old. I mean her um her old friends. That's that. Her old friends is. A, I'm gonna have to do a deep dive. That, on that. shit low key. That shit. He's speaking. Real, he's facts, speaking the most factual. We were just talking about this on the pod. On the pod we talking yes. about negative influence yes. from your people around you. Yes. Bro. That's exactly what that he nigga talking. speaking major facts. Sorry, but I'm outside. <laughs> so two of them is on my top three. Okay, them and two on my top three. I do like resentment. Oh damn! Yep. Well, no chill. Oh damn! I ain't, ain't got even no put chill. no okay. chill on that joint. My top three. Yeah. would be sorry, but I'm outside. Make it to the morning and no chill. No chill. That's a good. If I had to add a part four, I would definitely put. Uh, bro, lose my mind, crazy, bro. It's it's good. Welcome to if I had to make a top five, I would add real woman. Uh-huh. Real Cause woman. I just like that bit. That that's the one that I heard. But he busy for a week. I yeah. just like that. That's cool. And then I'll probably add. I'll probably add cheers, bro. Bro, lose my mind. You cheers or lose my mind. Lose Slash. My mind on that joke, I like it because of the DMX sample and bro how he said, used that he shit. Said, he said, um. They had to make me choose. Couldn't he said I couldn't choose if it depended it on, on my, my life. life. Yeah, on my life. Like, fuck it, like, come and on. then I love how like right before that mm-hmm. it was talking about this nigga say he wanted threesome and yeah. all of that shit. And they brung it. And to then they brung it to like, this. That one, was like, nice. Dude, that's what yeah, I'm saying. The I'm control and the and the what's it called is a two pack. Yeah, it's song, a two pack deal. Bro. You gotta watch, you gotta listen to both of them joint better, man. Yeah. Um, but this oh. was it was really quick, bro. Honestly, bro. Yeah, man, like, real quick. I feel like it was a perfect album. Mm-hmm. Well, no, I feel like it was a good strong. Album. Solid album. It, it was, was good for him to yeah, be coming back. back with this. It was a strong ass album. It was a strong comeback album. Yeah. I'm gonna give it that joint an eight point five. I agree. I'm gonna give it an eight point five. Eight point five. That's a eight. that's a that's we a can solid both ass. Agree. And this is all just first couple yeah. listens. If maybe that bit grow to a ten, yeah. it might grow to a classic. It's, I might eat my words. Yeah. This is a solid ass project in mm-hmm. my opinion. This bro. is a solid R and B project. This is R&B. what we've been needing. Yes, sir. Bryson, I'm low key late nights. This is all I'm playing. Oh yeah, late nights, bro. This a vibe right here. Just like that future. Yeah. No, sleep on that goddamn future. Them late night vibes, I'm telling you. Bro, that future album. We still album. don't trust you. Come on, We now. still don't trust you is the best, album this year. the best album this year. It's, it's, it's the best one this year, fam. No cap. But hey, if y'all like the content, if y'all like the reviews. We got the, the Young Blue coming next. We got the Young Blue coming next. Hometown legend. Yeah, Mobile, Alabama. So, bro, if you like it, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. And we always going to be back for more. The next one that we got coming right now is the Young Blue Jeremy review. So check that out after this Mm -hmm. one. After this one. Yes, sir. So uh, peace. Peace.